Hey, how's it going? I am Shane with WMI Bikes, and today we are going to talk about fat bikes. And more specifically, this Reed Hercules Bike Shop Beginners Fat Tire Bike. Uh, this is not an e-bike, this is a normal fat tire bike. So what is the purpose of a fat tire? Fat tires are an all-terrain, go-anywhere type of bike. They are not geared just towards snow and winter biking. Uh, that is where they are most popular. However, you can ride them in mud, sand, dirt. You can hit the trails with them. You can ride them on roads. Uh, just like just like with any bikes, the wider the tire, the more friction when riding on a road. So there's more contact surface area with a fat tire bike over a road bike with the drop down handlebars. You know, unless you have extremely strong legs, you're not really gonna be able to keep up with somebody on a road bike while riding a fat tire bike. If you can, your legs are insanely strong and ridiculous. When it comes to riding a fat tire bike and the great thing about them is you can ride on all sorts of different surface areas. The biggest thing you have to remember is your tire pressure. You want max tire pressure on roads to limit the friction. You want when riding in mud, sand, or snow, you want a lower tire pressure to increase friction. Uh, the great thing about fat tires is they can go to a very low PSI. Um, some people drop them down to 6 to 8 PSI while riding on snow trails. This is going to give you a lot more contact surface area and allow you to go grip better through the snow. There are all sorts of different types of fat bikes out there, different brands and everything. Um, like I said, this is the beginner's model of the bike shop models. And what I mean by that is this is a brand you're gonna find and a bike that you're gonna find at a local bike shop. Okay, The ones that you find at national retailers, just like any bikes that you find at the national retailers, I'm not gonna say their names, but you know which ones I'm talking about, the national chains, big department store companies. Most of those bikes are one size fits all mass produced low end bottom of barrel components just cheap bikes and most likely after you buy the bike from there because they don't do any adjustments or anything you're gonna have to take it to your local bike shop and hope that they can get the brakes and the gears to work somewhat properly. And this is why you go to your local bike shop. Your local bike shop is going to find you a bike that fits you and is going to make your bike riding experience a lot more enjoyable, where you'll want to get out and ride more. Now, years ago, I had a box store Schwinn mountain bike that I pretty much, I never changed gears. I said to the one gear and no matter how I was riding, that's what I rode. It wasn't until I actually went to a bike shop, got a decent bike, even their beginner model, that I started learning and adjusting my gears and has made the bike shop experience much, or the bike riding experience much more enjoyable. Your local bike shop has to offer is they can get you your beginners, your intermediate, or your expert level bikes price range components yes you're going to pay a little bit more but remember these bike shops these owners that's their livelihood that's what they're that's their business that's what they're supporting their families on everything else and a lot of them especially i know of in the western new york area are huge in the community giving back and just doing so much for not only the cycling community but the just the local community in general if you want a real if you want a good bike and enjoy your bike riding experience, go to your local bike shop. Spend a little bit more and actually get your money's worth out of riding that bike. So now we're going to talk about this Reed Here Curls Fat Tire Bike. This bike has your 26 by 4.5 inch Kenda Juggernaut fat tires. Okay, these are 
great tires, especially for this bike. I believe you can get these down to about six, seven PSI, and the max is, I believe, the max is 30 PSI. Here I have a large frame. It only comes, this, this model only comes in this green with this silver. I'm not a huge fan of the color green, but I do like it on this bike. Uh, this is, the only thing I swapped out on here so far is the pedals. Now this does have a one by nine drive chain, which is your Shimano Altus gearing system. Uh, it has your Tetro. It does have mechanical brakes on this one. Some argue that cold weather, you want you, you should only use mechanicals. Some say hydraulics are fine. Talk to your local bike shop. They'll they'll steer steer you in the right direction. So the freewheel cassette is a 11 to 36 T. Uh, the front chain set is a 28 T, uh, which is how many teeth? Like I said, it is a nine speed. This is a alloy, alloy aluminum frame. Uh, just be careful, especially in winter with road salts and taking this to the beach riding and getting, you know, in salt water. It is aluminum does not like those too much. So make sure when you're done riding, you give the bike a nice wash. The handlebars that come on this is a 700 millimeter uh, by 15 millimeter rise. I'm more than likely gonna swap this out for at least a 780. It has the 70 millimeter uh, front stem. It does have your uh, quick release on front and back for your tires. All in all, this bike is lightweight. So this bike does come in a small, medium, large, and extra large. You know, starting uh, small looks like it starts from 5'2 and up to 6'4 height. When riding, same thing with from mountain bikes and fat bikes and stuff like that. You want your bike to be lightweight. You will not find that at department stores. Those bikes, especially the fat tire ones, are very heavy. As you can see, there's holes in the rim drilled out to decrease the weight of this bike. It's going to help you on the trails. Same thing with mountain bikes. It's the same thing with fat tire bikes. You want them lightweight. You don't want to put racks on them. You don't want to put saddlebags. You don't want to put all these accessories on them. Keep them minimal. You have a bottle holder for your water. Make sure you have a zip pocket for your keys and your phone. That's gonna give you the most enjoyable experience while hitting the trails. Or get one of those hydration backpacks, throw that on, throw your stuff in there, and hit the trails. Like I said, I mean, this bike is very lightweight. It's simple to simple and easy to pick up, up and down, load, load into the back of a truck or onto your bike rack. You will need a bike rack that can hold fat tires. So I did pick this bike up, I ordered it from Freewheel Bike Shop in West Seneca, New York. This is, like I said, they do have a model lower, a little bit lower than this, but it's got lower components, a little bit heavier, thinner tires, everything else like that. Like that. They also have a higher, higher end models. Uh, Reed is, I believe, an Australian brand that's co that's coming more into a, into the market here. So this bike retails for ten ninety nine, which when you go to the bike shop actual fat tire bikes i think the lowest i've seen is probably around 900. there is other brands that are going to range you know in that low thousands mark but on average they're they're going to be between 1500 and 2500 dollars for a decent one and like i said you can ride these year round you're just not going to be able to keep up with the road bikers but they're a lot of fun and the reason it does not have a front shock you can get them with the front shocks but it's not really necessary so because of how squishy you can actually get the the tires it takes a lot of the impact where you don't need the shocks on a, on these fat tire bikes like i said this is a fantastic bike it's a lot of fun to ride the gearing the gear set on this makes it very easy to ride very enjoyable to ride i can ride as as fast as most of my other bikes except for you know my more road bikes and that's just not because of leg power that's just because of how this how light this bike is how good the gear how great the gear set is and the tires are up to psi now you drop them down it's gonna give you more friction it's gonna slow you down make it a little bit harder to pedal but you adjust your gear set and you'll do just fine 
if you have most of the bike shops in the Western New York area do have fat bikes they offer. So go talk to them. They might, you know, if they don't have it in stock, they can get it fairly quick, quickly. We're past the pandemic. Our, the warehouses are full, bike shops are full. It is almost, we're just getting into the winter season. It is a great time to go out and get your fat bike. Come out and ride with us. We will be doing snow rides and trail rides. Follow us on Facebook on WNY Bikes. You can also go to WNYBikes.com. I do have an event calendar of all sorts of different fat bike rides, whether it's with WNY Bikes, uh, Winimba, Loud Performance, Changing Gears, or any of the other ones that do the trails and fat bike rides. So when you are fat biking, especially in winter, you do want to wear layers. You want your hat, you may want some type of like face ear covering, stuff like that with, with your helmet on. Uh, you definitely don't want gloves. You know, uh, especially gloves that are more geared towards biking. They're gonna give the, the better grip for when you're gripping on the handle so your, hand, your hands don't slip. Uh, these ones are from Rock Bros. Most of your bike shops will have ones that they recommend. And then there's also bar mitts. These go on your handlebars to help with wind protection and to help keep your hands warm during the cold temperatures. So these just slip on over all your components. this zip them on stuff like that so when you put your hands through even with your gloves you have full control of all your stuff your hands are covered protected from the elements and I would recommend still wearing gloves with these as your hands and your toes are gonna be the first things to get cold so layer up your socks wear great boots wear gloves get some bar mitts um, the Barmit brand is actually much better than these, but they will do between the gloves of these. It works great for me. And wear layers. You can always take a layer or two off, but staying warm is the most important thing when coming to fat biking. And, and all together, it's just going to make your bike riding, especially in winter time, much more enjoyable. So we're going to take these off. <clears throat> All right, so now, hope to see you out. If you have any questions, concerns, anything else like that, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me out and yeah, get out and ride.